All right, folks. Hello and welcome to another video. My name is Leader Grev, and today we are playing Blocks That Matter, not Minecraft, as I was just about to say. Although thematically di similar, uh, very much about blocks, very much about digging, very much about mining, has similar rules to that of Minecraft. Although the crafting and the building is a bit more constrained, but regardless, it's a Blocks That Matter by Swing Swing Submarine, and I hope you enjoy this content. As with the past couple of videos, this isn't live commentary, but just me talking about stuff that mattered to me. Anyhow, what I wanted to talk about, and I didn't really have any plans going into this, I, I said, you know what, here's what I want to talk about, boom, let's go, is expressing yourself on YouTube. Um, if the, A lot of commentators I see... Uh, do this thing about sort of hiding themselves away from their audience. There are certain topics that people just won't touch. Um, religion. Politics. And that's kind of silly in my opinion. And I know I know specific people like Hutch, C. Nanners, who will not touch these things when representing their network. Because that can cost them their job. Um, that can That can lead to any number of things because they don't know who their audience is or how they'll react. So, to an extent, I can see the concern. If I were to say right now, uh, for example, religion sucks terribly. I hate it. I imagine a couple of you would probably be fairly mad at that statement. And reasonably so. I've just said that something you like sucks, regardless of whether I believe that or not. And I'll not going to talk about that right now because that's not the subject of this. Anyhow, um, and a lot of you, the people who are upset with that might say, you know what, screw this guy, I'm unsubscribing, I'm leaving, I'm not going to give this person my money via ads, I'm not going to help this person, I'm not going to like this video, I'm not going to do any of that. Um, and they will storm off and probably leave a very nasty comment for me. And... Oh, that's a genuine concern. Uh, naturally, that makes sense. If you if you're out there to make money, if you if your goal is to make videos and have an audience that listens to you and to make money, you don't want people leaving. So of course you're not going to touch certain heat, uh, like important topics. But I feel like that's very much stealing from the audience. And let me explain. Um, in my opinion, debate is one of the things that, when done right, can lead to the most thought and is one of the like most powerful catalysts for change. And the fact that some people might try to steal that is, from their audience is, in my opinion, kind of silly. Um, because, say, say I... Let's, let's use the old example. I say religion sucks. And some of you might storm off, while another one of you might say, you know what, Leader Grab, I totally disagree with you, blah, blah, blah. Um, here are my reasons why. And they will be totally civil about it, and they won't leave, and they'll wait for a response, and we'll have a conversation like that, and that makes sense. However much I may disagree with your response, at least we're having a civil discussion, and both of us are learning about a different point of view. And that is so important nowadays. The internet is such a powerful tool for being able to be informed and to know what you're doing. So while I might be thinking, honestly, your opinion sucks my method of interacting with you will lead to better conversations, I guess a better understanding of the topic at hand, and just qualifies my opinion. For example, I had a debate last year, got very heated, with a friend of mine about piracy, and we went back and forth, and it got really heated, and we talked to teachers, and we advisors, and such and such, it got really intense, and it was about piracy. And I didn't believe that piracy was morally right as a person who has the intention of making games in the future who is an artist who puts out content i didn't agree with piracy at its core i didn't like the idea it's not my thing um but this friend of mine was quite the opposite and while i still don't agree with him i don't agree with piracy i don't do piracy it's not my thing i don't pirate stuff i i like to buy it it feels better for me i i'm calmer and more at peace with that I do now agree that there is there are definite problems with copyright laws. There is a big, big problem with copyright laws. And this debate and discussion that we had qualified my opinion. So instead of blindly going, I fucking hate piracy, it sucks. Now, 
I can say, you know what, I don't like piracy, but I understand that the current system has its problems, and perhaps some merits. But you know what, there are problems and I acknowledge that. And the fact that this debate can lead to a better understanding, to a more open mind, is an invaluable part of what the internet is and how it works. And that's amazing. And I've used YouTube for that for the longest time. If I don't get money out of YouTube, okay. But I've learned quite a bit from YouTube, from the people I've interacted with. And civility is key. If I could give any new commentators a suggestion, it would be to be civil with your audience, but to try to inspire conversation, to try to inspire discussion. Um, and that doesn't mean by trolling, by being like, I like pedophiles, it's cool. Because um, that's silly. I don't even know how you could argue that. But if you're open about your religious views, say, or your political opinions, that can breed so much interesting discussion and so much informity, and that's not even a word. But whereas you could go, go on blindly with one set of standards and ideas and not learn from this encyclopedia of knowledge of interaction that you have in front of you, that's just stupid. If you have the opportunity to inform your opinion, to be able to discuss something, to be able to dis talk to an enemy without burning the bridge, I mean, there's a thing called civility and moderacy. Moderacy, probably not a word. Um, being moderate, whatever. Um, and when you do that in conversation, you don't burn bridges. So I could say, I could, there, there are two scenarios that could play out. Someone could write something in response to something I say, and I could say, your opinion sucks. Or, I could respond and say, I disagree for this, 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 and this reason. And that would be smart, because now the person knows that there is a counter-argument, and they can build their own argument around that. And there's generally better understanding. And I think that commentators withholding this and taking this information away from their audience, an audience that is willing and able to learn, I think that's pretty pretty unfortunate. Um, because we do get a lot from commentator, commentators and commentary that we watch. Personally, I watch uh, Steve Wynn's Life Advice by C. Nanners before any big event in my life, before any big happening. I watch it and I'm like, this is what's going on, this is real talk. Um, when I'm upset about something, I can watch that and be like, okay, alright, that's fine. And I, I feel like I've picked up Good's laugh from Good's 404 and the phone is ringing, but uh, not from Good's 404, from Good's Let's Plays. I feel like I've picked up little bits and pieces of the commentary that I watch and taking away um, taking away any potential for your audience to get something from you is unfortunate. It's really, it's not, not something you should want to do as a commentator. You want to be memorable. You want to have an impact on people's lives because you are putting out content that has the opportunity, the potential to be important to someone. And you have to take advantage of that. And you have to take advantage of the interaction that is afforded to you. So... So, basically, you should be civil. That was terrible moral, but um, I'm not out here making videos to try to upset you, to try to piss you off, to be inflammatory. Um, my job is to get across my way of thinking and to respond to yours. So, I have no intention of burning bridges with my audience. Not only have I grown to recognize some of you, uh, to interact with you guys on a regular basis, I mean, some of you have done me huge favors, you guys have hosted servers for me. One of you have, has gifted me a game, a real game. Um, I'm sure if I put up a donation counter, I might get some money from you guys. So, you guys are amazing, you guys have done me so many favors, so regardless of the ideologies that you may subscribe to, I have no intention of... Uh, hating on you, of burning bridges, of disagreeing. Um, or actually, rather, I do have the intention to disagree. But civilly. I don't want to make you leave. I don't want to anger you for no reason. That's not my goal. So, if you see something you disagree with, think before you react. And say, 
you know what, I could, I could be angry and not think this through, or I could help this person with my own opinion. And I would thank you for that, regardless of whether I agree or disagree. Because civility wins in the end. It's, it's a pretty big winner. Anyhow, uh, thanks a lot for watching. I hope you enjoyed this commentary and the video footage. Uh, if you want to see more of this game or any of the other games I've played in the past, let me know. Uh, thank you very much for watching and have a nice day.